you are not going to want to miss today's episode as we teach you how to get out of a vehicle. So welcome to today's episode where we're going to teach you all about how to break a window in the event that you need to egress from your vehicle, whether underwater or above water. We're at Pick Apart in Independence, Oregon. It's very tough to bust a window. We're gonna show you what we think is the best ways to do that. And there's different types of windows. You know, there's the front windshields like this one that's actually laminated. So if you take a look at this, you know, you cannot really bust out through a front windshield. Doug, I mean, help, help me. Doug, help me. We're, we're going underwater. You're not even helping me, Doug. Yeah, I'm sorry. And also cars after 2017 are also, their side windows are yeah. also laminated. And so therefore it's virtually impossible to break out. The reason for it is because the uh, Department of Transportation decided it would be a good idea to help prevent those being ejected from a vehicle. Let's teach everybody today the best way to get out of a vehicle in emergency. What you do within the first 10 seconds and sometimes can depend on whether or not you survive. And it could be a small accident, but once you're trapped in a vehicle and it fills with smoke, you're done. So every second matters and most people have no clue what to do when it comes to breaking a window or how hard it is. So I think the first thing we wanna do is, you know, jump inside of a vehicle here, Doug. And some people say, well, you have headrests that are available to break the windows to escape. So Doug, why don't you go ahead and show me on this one and go ahead and take your headrest off and uh, break your window over there. Okay, yeah, um, that's not gonna happen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 for the, yeah. so for those that say, just grab the headrest, as you can see, that's not always the case. So I, I've spent the majority of my life in the towing industry. Uh, I, responding to fatal or near fatal accidents is a very common occurrence on a regular basis. The first few seconds in, the, in an emergency accident is the most critical time of an accident. It, it can be an accident that's not even necessarily that bad. Um, it's just, is your fender bender or is your minor collision gonna prevent the doors from opening and is there an engine fire? The engine fire is one of the most toxic things that you can breathe in. The first few seconds are vital. Having this tool on your keychain accessible and near you, it can mean that literally the difference between living or not living. I've seen some people say, well, you know, I've got an emergency key hammer inside of my glove box. Well, I mean, we're disoriented. You have smoke going, you know, the car's upside down. And if you get hit in that side, you're not opening that glove box. The glove box is pinched shut. You're, you're not getting in there. Yeah. Anything that you're gonna put inside your glove box, you can completely discount on using it efficiently to save your life. I don't have a headrest. What's our next option? Um, honestly, the average person, what they're gonna do is panic. They're not gonna know what to do. Um, I mean, there's a big rock sitting right here. I can't, I can't break that. And I'm, I'm a pretty strong guy. So what I was just doing right there is going to be a lot more force than the average person's going to have. Okay, so, so they're not going to have a rock, but you also have the opportunity of, you know, your headrest. Is that fighting to get that off right there is what's, what, what, what's going to get you hurt? Yeah. So there's videos online of like, yeah, you just take the headrest off, and then you can use that to break out your window. Well, Doug, yeah. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm a fairly strong guy myself, like yourself, and so getting that off. So I can use it to break out the window as this car happens, let's say this car is in the river going underwater. Holy frick, I'm already freaking out because the car is in the river. Now I'm freaking out because I watched a YouTube video that told me that I should just get this headrest off of here. And look, I took this off. Look at this. The bar that I'm supposed to be using is still stuck up there. So now I did get this off. So use that. Break the window out. Show, show me the strength. I'm You're supposed to break the window, Doug. It's not gonna work. That's gonna cause you to lose your life. The, the electronics in the car won't let you take your key out of the ignition. So you just grab this, pull it off. Both your tools are exposed. Your seatbelt cutter instantly cut through the seat. Windows open. You can go out. You're getting out. You're getting out and your your life is not at Jeopardy. Your chance of survival is through the roof now. I had a big rock and couldn't bust through this window and this did it in a split second. 
I can't I can't break that and I'm, I'm a pretty strong guy so what I was just doing right there is gonna be a lot more force than the average person's gonna have having that accessible really just is what allowed me to go home to my family And so, you know, before you uh, came over, you know, you were at the front office there, you know, we were kind of showing people, uh, you know, the front windshield is not breaking, you know, even using a rock inside trying to bust that window is not working. Some people are like, well, just use the headrest. Well, we were just in a vehicle that didn't have a headrest. We tried taking the window visor off. What advice do you have for them if they don't have any of this? Carry a tool and carry a way to cut seat belts. Doors are going to be locked in most newer cars when the key is on. You can't get out through the door, so eat practice turning the car off, putting it in park, hitting the button, and waiting until it fills with water to push the doors open. If not, break the glass, have a tool, have it handy, and have a knife. Simple. Cut the seatbelt. And, and a lot of people are found in the back seat, to your point earlier, some are looking for their children. They're panicking. Um, think about getting the kids out the same way. Well, we're going to keep breaking out a few windows. We're going to show uh, exactly how to use these emergency tools. We really appreciate you, you know, allowing us to yeah, come to the junkyard today, yeah. today and play. And that's what we're here for. Yeah. So I think that the next thing that we need to do then, Doug, is let's uh, first uh, help people identify if glass is tempered or laminated, yeah. and then we'll show breaking some more. Cool. The rainstorm is over, so now let's take a moment to talk about tempered glass versus laminated glass. Doug, do you know the difference? I do know the difference. All right. So, uh, we all know the front windshields of vehicles are mostly all laminated, which is kind of makes it impossible to get through. It's, it's a pain. These windows, you can see right here, they're stamped, tempered. They're easier to break. They kind of explode when you, when you, when you try to break through them, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and so, if you come in here close, Josh, you can actually see right on here, it says tempered. And if it's laminated, it's going to say laminated. So let me just go down and explain this just a little bit more, Josh over here, is that tempered glass is going to break like this. And so when it breaks, it just falls apart. And that is tempered glass. Laminated, on the other hand, let's just uh, let's just break out one of these front windows. I like, let's break, break it. So this is not going to break a laminate. See, it's packed right here. So here's the, sign on here so that says laminated so doug and this th this is laminated because it's to try to contain you in your vehicle in the case of an accident so you don't go through well, or an animal coming that's why they right. started making the front windshields laminated yeah. and that's also the reason why they started making cars in 2017 and newer laminated on the sides as well for the purpose i think i mentioned this earlier yeah for the purpose of to help prevent somebody from being ejected from the vehicle. Yeah. But then that creates this problem of being able to get out, get out of your car. Right. So I say that what we need to do right now, let's do everything we can. Sh let's show them what a laminated windshield looks like and the reason why you can't break out of it. And so I'm so, gonna use the Adventures with Purpose, window breaker. It's totally not going to do anything, 100%. See that, it just leaves like this. And so it's just going to be kind of like when you get a, a rock chip. That's why when you get a rock chip, it doesn't break out your windshield it's because it's laminated. And so what's happening right now is that Doug is breaking the inside of the glass and there's actually two layers of glass with that lamination film is between those two layers of glass. And so the reason why it's not going through is because you have that laminated film that's in there that is keeping this glass together. And so again, if you look really close in here, Josh, you can actually see, see this layer of glass on the outside of it and then you can see a separate layer of glass on the inside. So Josh has a different tool and the tool that you've got, Josh, is what? Uh, so I bought a knife that says Smith & Wesson First Response, and it comes with a serrated knife, regular knife, and then it has this uh, window breaker on the bottom, and then it has a seatbelt thing, cutter. Okay, so let's put you in the uh, driver's seat of this one. So you have a seatbelt, so let's see how well your seatbelt cutter works. You know, and one of the things that Dennis was talking about is what's the number one thing that you that need... stuck, I think. Oh, no, it's not. What's the number one thing that you need, Josh, when you're stuck in a vehicle? Uh, an exit plan? 
<laughs> a tool. A tool, yeah, yeah, there you go. So so the tool that you have is not always in your pocket. It could be in the glove box. It yeah. Could, it could be in your pocket. Usually, you know, it, you'd, I'd wear this everywhere, so it'd be right about there. Okay, so so let's put you in, so you do have it. So let's just do this, the seat belt first. Let's and see it, how well your seat belt breaker works. And again, anything, anything that's in your glove box is not gonna be in a position to save your life. It's just not reasonable. Okay, so seat belt. <laughs> well, let, let, let's let him try with his first, so his seat belt cutter. So let's ask, how much did you pay for your tool? Uh, this was like 30 bucks. 30 bucks, okay. Yeah. Alright, so, so he's fighting that. Let's, let's, give him, let's give him this one. Let's see uh, how easy this one is compared to the one that he was just using. Alrighty. Oh, 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 Josh, I think that your tool. Yeah, didn't do very good. Okay, well, you know, and but now you have this little thing on here. So this is your little window breaker. Okay. So let's just see how well, and put, so, oh, you have gloves on. Okay, so I'm gonna close this. Now I'm gonna give you a little bit of advice as well. To properly break a window, it is best to actually pick a corner. Will actually break easier rather than the middle. But okay. it's your tool that doesn't seem to work yet. If I didn't know the information, I would go for the middle, so. Go for the middle, I mean, right. that that's, and that's why we're doing this, is so we can educate people on what works best, so. I was gonna say, so if this, if I didn't have this, my first response would be an elbow, which okay. sounds like a terrible idea. Oh, I wanna see you do the elbow. I've seen you guys try to break a window. You, you wanna come over here, get your side. Come on, Josh, with your elbow. <laughs> Oh, Josh, is there anything else in there you might be able to use? Yeah, you try, try that. All right, so that's not working. All right, so you got your fancy little tool, 30 bucks. Oh, that's not working either, Josh. Try a corner. This is scary. Yeah. Josh, you bought, why did you buy, let's let's just back up. Why did you buy that tool? Uh, so I can feel safe and so if something actually happened and in a situation I'd be prepared. Josh, if you were like underwater or like in a really bad situation right now, yeah, this how is, freaked out would you be right now? Uh, oh, this would be, this would go from I know what I'm doing, I got this to I'm about to die. Now what if you're, yeah. what, what if Chelsea, your wife and your newborn baby are in the car? Seriously, yeah. It's, ter Dude, it's terrifying. Tell me, tell me about your heart rate right now. Like, think, put them in the car with you right now. Now give me an answer. I feel like I failed. And, uh, you know, didn't do my job as a man and, and to be able to escape from the situation, especially being confident in my tool because I was confident in this tool about two minutes ago. I was too. Like, it, it's a sweet looking little tool. Yeah. I, I was really confident in it too, just, just I, looking at it. I'm also curious if this does the trick because if I pounded pretty hard on that window with, with that blunt force right there. Well, so I watched you. If this pops it, I mean, I'm thinking this window is different than the other ones so far. So you just put it against the window. Whoa, Josh! <laughs> Dang, man. That was what do awesome. you think about that, Josh? So, okay, besides the glass sitting on my lap, I can definitely get my family to safety. I mean, honestly, like, the reason I would carry that knife anywhere I go is for this reason exactly is if you flip a car land in a river, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Like this is worth way more money in a situation like this than an expensive knife. I, I thought your knife was gonna work. I honestly did. Yeah, me too. Well, let's get your knife one more time because it also has one more feature on your knife that that I don't have. What is that? That's the serrated edge. Oh, true. And so what's the purpose of the serrated edge? Well, we talked about maybe cutting a hole if you need to. Okay, so let's see, let's see if your knife will actually work oh, for the windshield, on right? the windshield. So go. Go ahead and get yourself out through the windshield.
And what if you were upside down in the water right now? Ah. It's, it's devastating the to see how hard this so is. Kind of because like we all know, I'm not seconds crawling through window. matter. Seconds matter in these situations. I mean, you can clearly see, I mean, if you have to do this, obviously survival by all means, but this is gonna get you into trouble. Go for the tempered glass all day long. If you have this tool, it's gonna save your life. It's way easier. This is scary. Josh, let's role play some more. Uh, your baby's in the back seat. You gotta jump into the back seat. You couldn't get your front window open. You, your tool, go ahead and use your tool again on the back window and have the other one just ready to go as well. I mean, here, here, here. I really hope that your tool works though because I don't want your tool to go to waste. Okay. Yeah, we, we uh, yeah, let's put uh, Doug in there with you as well. Okay, so yeah, so door, doors are jammed. You're both in the back seat for kicks. I'm going for the back window or the side window? Oh, it's, it's your decision. You decide how to get, your goal is to get out of the car before Doug. All right, good luck, boys. <laughs> we'll count you down when to start. So where you you want him to go that way and me to go this way? Yeah, yeah, and you gotta get out of the car. Whoever's out of the car I, and stand- I have to use my dinky tool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're scared about using your dinky tool now, aren't you? All right, let's go. All right, you ready? So we're, we're in an accident. The car's on fire or we're about to go underwater. The Good. driver's unconscious. The doors up there may have be pinched in. We can't get out up there. The only way we're gonna get out is out there. All right, three, two, one. And Doug lived. Way to go, Doug. Hey, I'm glad that your tool actually worked that time, though, Josh. Barely. How many times? How many times did you have to hit it just now? Uh, it's probably ten. Maybe twelve. Yeah, and you, it was just an easy pop for you. Yeah, simple pop, just popped. When when I've done car accidents in the past, the windows that get broken with a have tent on them kind of hold up the, the, the similar to the way one would if it was a laminated. Not as hard, but they do hold up. All right, well, know? let's check it out. Let's just say, for instance, in this scenario, the, the, the front of this vehicle is compromised, so me trying to mess with the front of this vehicle isn't possible. One, two, three. Just like that. And, and, and this glass is a natural tint. It's no aftermarket film like we were just speaking about on camera. Uh -huh. Like if they, they would have taken this vehicle to a tent shop, that film would have held this up a lot, a lot better. You know, not as rough as it is to get through that laminated film that's in the middle of the glass, but still, it, it's gonna provide a lot of resistance. Okay, now what about back windows? So most back windows have the, ant the radio antenna is built mm -hmm. into the back windows is if you look from the inside out, you can actually see all those lines. Well, that's for the heater, right? That's for the heater. Right? Oh, for, yeah, for the uh, defroster, for the right? Yeah. yeah. All these running across here. Yeah. You can see it plugged in right there. And is this one tempered? I would think so. Um, well, let's look for that stamp. And it is tempered. You ready? Yep, I'm ready. Okay, so what's happening on the back window? Do you um, think? I, I honestly, I don't know. I don't know. So it's built a little bit different. It so is. with it, can be. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> That's not anyway, tempered. Where, where I was going with it, you that know. That was extreme tempered. Yeah, it was great. You know, what, what I was gonna say though, I mean, it's built just a little bit differently with the, you know, the things that they put on it. Anytime you, you start adding to it, whether it's, you know, a extra aftermarket tint, Mm -hmm. It's going to change the way the window's going to break. You start putting the, you know, heaters and stuff on it. It's going to change the way it's going to break. So, you know, it did take you three, three, times. Put, three times on that yeah. one. Yeah. But yeah. the point is, it's better than my twelve. Yeah. Also, though, my first two were kind of in the center of the glass. That last one I did was more towards the edge. Yeah. That like I could have played a part. You, you know, know, and really for well. everything that you've been doing today too, I've been watching you. And you've been hitting the center each time. Yeah. So why don't we uh, start popping on the uh, some of the corners right here. Right here in the corner? Yeah. I'm, I'm inside of the vehicle. I'm gonna go right here on this, where it says tempered. Okay. And it did, it broke it. I'm gonna have to push it out. But first time it broke it there. Yeah. You know, that, you wanna go with that theory? Let's pop two or three in the corner and then try two or three in the middle? Yeah, yeah. And we're here to educate. Let's do it. I would say on the, um, since we're doing the tempered, 
that's uh, tinted, factory tint. Yeah. So should I go to the middle this time? Yeah, do the middle this time. Yeah. Oh, work. Yeah. yeah. Works good. So really, I think that if you just hit the window with the tool, this so far has been foolproof. And I, I'm not being biased towards any other tool. And but this overwhelmingly works. Like it's, it's, you, you it's can't not make about this the up. tool. It's yeah. a, it's about it's about the safety that that this tool gives you. I mean, and the peace of mind of, of being right. able to get out when you need to. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Like I, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to name the company again that built that knife. But that knife was was pretty awesome looking. Yeah. Um, but I mean, this tool is it's priceless. You know. The, the the effectiveness and accuracy at which it just melted its way through the seatbelt. Definitely. Oh, the seatbelt was a big deal. Yeah. It's effort. Like, it, it takes a kid can use this to bust out a window. It takes that much effort. It literally just doing it like that. Next time, I, next window I'm a bust. I'm gonna use two fingers to hold it. <laughs> you, you know. Okay. Well, let's put you back inside of the vehicle. We just figured out another reason why this is such an amazing thing. You know what's most important to me in a van life? What is it? Space. Space. Look how big that is. Can I hold it for a second? That's right. Now, I can just put it in my pocket and I'm safe to go. Thanks. Appreciate it. It, 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 it should be in your pocket. It should be on your keychain. I know, but this is the way I steal it from you. Oh, okay. All right. Well, you can have that one. Yeah, you can have it. Yeah. Well, we'll give that one to you. We got more. All right, here, let's put you in the, uh, let's put you in, vi let's call you Victor. Victor. Yes. You're a 26 year old male, single. Your favorite color is blue. All right. Yeah, seatbelt on. And you're using two fingers this time, right? Alright, still driving along. Okay, yeah. He's accident. Accident. We're in the water, on fire, whatever it may be. I gotta get out of here. The door is not opening. It's wedged shut. I can't get out. Here. On my keychain. Pulls right off. Key's not gonna come out. So you gotta pull right off. Gotta get out of my seatbelt. Very easy. Two fingers. When we get out. Not bad, Victor. One thing is if you are holding your seatbelt and you're pulling down on it and you're trying to cut at the same time, you see how it's loose here? And so you're trying to cut something that's loose at the same time and so it's pulling into it. So when you take and you hold your seatbelt nice and tight and you take the cutter on here, so this part is the tight part it's going to give you a much better cut. So that's just a little trick for you. So just take that, slide it right on through, and it slices no problem. Whereas right here, see now if I take it from the other way, and I try to cut it, it's going to be very difficult until I get this all the way tight, and then I'm able to, then I'm able to cut it. So that's just a little trick for you. As I had mentioned, there's something else I wanna show you. Like we showed you on how a rock is very difficult to break a window from the outside and the inside. We've showed you how a higher priced tool versus this little tool, the difference in those two, but uh, one more, not for criminal intentions, but we're gonna show you that if you happen to have a spark plug or a piece of porcelain laying around your house, put that in your um, cigarette ashtray or in your cup holder, because we're gonna show you how that little piece can also save your life. Okay, this, this is straight up criminal. So don't say I didn't warn you, but it works. I'm gonna say anything can be criminal. Yes. Depend on your intention. If, you, if it's in criminal intent, I mean, like I said, they can use a rock. They can use one of these window breakers yeah. if you're a criminal, but this is not why we're doing this. We're doing this to educate the general population, civilian. Yeah. yeah. So that way you know how and what you can actually use. So one of the things is if you have a, you know, a um, spark plug, this little part right here is made out of ceramic, which is also what your toilet is made out of. So if you happen to have a toilet yeah. in your vehicle, you're driving <laughs> along, you get in a rack, and now there's a piece of a toilet, you can use that. Right. But for preparation, you know, if you don't have any tools, yeah. go find yourself a spark plug or find yourself a piece of toilet or an old sink and just grab a piece of that porcelain here and we'll just kind of break it. I'm just gonna break it really easy here. All right, so now we have a piece of porcelain. Is that, and, is that gonna do it right there? Oh yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be, be uh, big at all. In fact, Josh, I've actually seen this happen before in real life. So I think that you should be the one to actually do this. Just take this and just throw it 
No way. Oh yeah. That little itty bitty rock? That little itty bitty thing right there. Right there, at the window. You wanna put money on it? Oh, 100%. I'll put a dollar on it. That you're, and you're saying this no? This is gonna bounce and hit the ground. Uh, only a dollar. Yeah. Zero confidence there. I mean, if you're gonna make a bet, <laughs> make a real bet. It's a dollar. 100 bucks. Uh, all right, I'll do 100 bucks. And you gotta throw it at the window. Yeah. It's not just some little chintzy toss. And if it bounces off, 100 bucks. And it bounces off, I give you $100. All right, deal. Okay. <laughs> no! Did you even hit it? Did he hit it? <laughs> he hit it. He hit it. Oh, I just lost $100. <laughs> Oh, look! His went through. Did you even I mean, try? I mean, I did what I said I would. I threw it. Yeah. That was pretty impressive, though. I want to try it. In meth addicts, this is their, this is their go-to, you know. And we're not plugs. teaching them, uh, just for the record, we're not teaching them anything new. No, this is this is old school stuff here. Everybody knows spark plug pieces, bust windows. You yeah, know. you you said that as though everybody did. Yeah, you know, most most people have heard about it, and most people who have heard about it think, oh, you use a whole spark plug. Unfortunately, that's not what they use. Um, and I know this by working a lot with law enforcement, towing vehicles that have been stolen, and this is what they've used to break into cars, and it's no secret. I want to redo. Oh, that's a great piece. Oh, that's gonna break it for sure. Don't pay $100 on it. <laughs> <laughs> How about the tempered glass? Go for the uh, the one right there in the back. Yeah. Okay. No bet, right? <laughs> Am I a winner? Or is this a double or nothing? <laughs> a double or nothing? <laughs> All right, I'll do double or nothing. <laughs> Yeah, you, yeah. I'll, I'll but, really throw it this time. But but you have but you have to actually hit the window this time. All right. What do you think, Josh? Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> that little should've quit while I was ahead. <laughs> oh, you should have quit. That little piece, that little that's crazy. particle of the ceramic is so dense that that's what causes the window to break. Well, now for kicks, let's just go ahead and take a uh, rock the same size, Josh, to or the other bigger. window. Okay, I, I mean, we can take a that's rock a that's idea. bigger. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna a rock that's bigger is going to... How about this bolt? I'm going to throw, sure, throw this at the windshield. <laughs> wow, that was loud, and you actually hit the window this time. You see, right, hit it right there. Yeah. Yeah. Watch yourself. That didn't even break it. Break it. Yeah, I don't even. Bolt. That didn't even dent it. Yeah. I can't throw 82 miles an hour. So. Where are you going? Same window. This would probably be in the 70s. Wow. Wow. The That's porcelain crazy. did it, and that didn't. But you take a piece of porcelain. Yeah. Well, you, but you got to hit the window. Or. 695. Where'd it go? Adventureswithpurpose.com. Save your life the first time around. Or you can also watch buy multiple and you get discounts for all your friends and family. Yeah. I mean this is this is crazy tool. It, it works over like this, yeah. It, it works good. Nothing even comes close to what we've demonstrated today other than this tool being as reliable. Like 100%. this is like 100 percent reliable. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like it, 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 your life has, it's priceless. So, I mean, $6.95 is, yeah. I mean, we just demonstrated a $40 knife that's built by- He said it was 30, he gets everything 30. on sale, so 30 okay. bucks, yeah. A, thir a $30 knife that looked monstrous, and you know, it had a real beefy, meat, uh, meaty uh, window breaker on the end of it, uh, you know, didn't work at all. Didn't work at all. The seatbelt cutter that was built into it just, yeah. Act like it wasn't even a seatbelt cutter. So there's one more thing I want to talk about, but before we do, Kevin now uh, wants to demonstrate one more thing over here. Oh, I just want to try it against the windshield. I, I have no idea what it's going to happen against the windshield. Oh, I have no idea either. We've never done a uh, windshield with it. Yep. This piece. Whenever you're, whenever you're ready. Oh, I'm ready whenever you are. Yeah, yeah. And it did crack the window. Did it really? Yeah. Oh, it did. But just like a rock chip, just like a windshield would. But this wouldn't have done that. Try, I mean, it'll rock, it'll chip. Well, I guess it would have, because I've lost a couple windshields to truckers. Yeah, I have too. Where I had to get them repaired. Yeah. Here's what we have coming up next. We want to make sure that everybody understands what's going on. So first of all, we have a danger. And then we have to change this to flipping, okay? The cars could cause severe danger or even death. We have a car that's coming right now, and one of us drew the short straw. Actually, we didn't even draw straws. Like, you volunteered for this. Doug 
has volunteered to put himself inside of a car. And we're gonna take this car and we're gonna flip it over. And what's the reason for this? We're gonna demonstrate firsthand what it's like to be in a vehicle in an emergency situation, upside down, and what it's like to get out of the vehicle. So, Doug could die today. Please don't. Let's show them how to get out of the car. Give them all a POV. You're good. Just know that door's locked in case you need it. Okay. All right. Good luck. the vehicle. Have fun. We got her. All right. Here we go. We're in the vehicle. We're about to demonstrate what it's like to flip upside down and be trapped in a vehicle. Say this is an accident, could be underwater, who knows? Here we go. Just been in a bad accident. The best thing to do right now is to not whatsoever panic. The first thing I, I know I have my tool on my keychain. I have to access it. I'm gonna quickly pull it off. If I had something else in my glove box, I can't reach my glove box right now. Anything that's in my glove box right now is not gonna save my life. I'm gonna use this seatbelt cutter very quick. Ugh. I'm gonna get out of here. Ugh. I'm gonna bust this window. I'm gonna be able to get out of this vehicle and get away immediately in case it's on fire. Great, great. You did great. That was only like, that was less than 60 seconds you were out. Yeah. yeah. If, if, if I didn't have to talk and demonstrate a lot of things, I would have been able to do it quicker. Um, knowing that I had this on my keychain, I was able to get to it. If I had anything else that I was depending on in that vehicle, it, it wouldn't have been possible. I was trapped in my seatbelt, you know what I mean? It's, there's a lot of force holding you in there. Being able to cut yourself out, pop a window if need be, it's priceless. All right, yeah, keep, keep talking to him while he's flipping that back over. Um, definitely, as soon as it happens, you're disoriented. Uh, you got to take into account, I was expecting that. If that comes, when you're driving down the road, you're in an accident, you're not expecting that. But having this tool is going to save your life. It's right there. It's within arm's reach. Having one of these is essential, you know. After being through that and doing that, everybody and my family is going to have one of these. It's imperative to have one of these to save your life. If you're wondering if an old Lexus can roll over and the window not crash in, our friend Doug from Adventures with Purpose just got flipped in this Lexus. And these B-pillars, they kept them alive. Okay. Nice job, Doug. Also, quick disclaimer, we do have people here on scene, fire extinguishers right here. They were here to help pull me out. 
this vehicle has actually been completely drained of all the contaminants. So, you know, this is strictly to give you guys an inside view of the vehicle of what it's like to be trapped in a vehicle in an emergency situation and what it's like to have to get out. And I tell you what, I wouldn't have been able to do it as efficiently without this. It would not have happened. Good. Beautiful. Just so you know, when that happened, um, I would have, yes, I would have attempted to go out the window that broke right next. The main focus of this is to demonstrate using this window breaker. So I did crawl over to the passenger side and pop the window with this. Um, and you know, when we take damage accidents from the side, that, that window side could be crimped in. I can't fit through there. So I'm gonna have to go across the seat to another window or to the back to, you know? So that's why I didn't go out the window right next to me. I think the best thing was watching you actually cut the seat belt and just drop into the roof of the car. Oh, it was great. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was. I, I, now we're gonna be working further with Dennis because he actually has access to a vehicle that he can drain, pull the engine, and we can actually take it to a pond and sink it. Before we do though, we actually need to gain access to a pond. So if you happen to live anywhere in the Pacific Northwest, particularly around the Portland or Central Oregon area, please reach out to me if you have a pond that we can bring a vehicle to and sink because we want to show you how to actually escape a vehicle going in the water. You know, how the doors have such pressure that you cannot open the doors. You know, to how, you know, this little tool is going to be able to get you out of the window as the vehicle is going underwater. You know, so today with that, you know, we showed you what the criminals already know and what they're using as far as the porcelain. We showed you how not all vehicles have a headrest and you know, we showed you how trying to get the visor off is not always going to work. We showed you how kicking the windows and some of these other tools on the market just simply do not work. And so with that one, you know, real simple, just take it, push it on the window, boom, we got Doug there. We want to say thank you for taking the time to hang out with us so we can educate you on this. Also get yourself, get your family one over at adventureswithpurpose.com. $6.95 for a single. We have discounts available for multiple. It gives you peace of mind. Doug, on that, I'm sorry that you will end up bleeding. Josh got a little blood on himself sorry, today. It's for a good cause. Yeah, and uh, you will end up bleeding a little bit as you're getting out of the window, but at the end of the day, uh, we'll be all right. it's worth it. Yeah, worth you're it. gonna be alive. Thank you for being here with us. We'll see you next time. Later, later, bye-bye.